hello hello scorpio welcome back to divine destiny guide i hope you're doing well wherever you are if this is your first time i welcome you if you're a returning subscriber thank you so very much for your support thank you for your membership thank you so very much scorpio and thank you for those of you who went over or have gone over to the, my other channel, Stepping Into Purpose with Veronica, to support that channel, I thank you so very much. If you have not yet done so, please, I'm asking you, it's Stepping Into Purpose with Veronica. Thank you so very much. I'm sending you love and light. Keep, keep hope alive. It's not over until the divine says it's over so as long as we're here we stand a chance we have a chance we get a chance so don't you ever you know there is a song that says don't you ever give up in this life you know give up on people it's a choice but don't you ever give up in this life Wow. Secrets reveal. So that's the first card, Scorpio, secrets revealed. So everything is out in the open. Spirit is saying, open your eyes. Secrets are being revealed. It is safe for you to see the truth. Your inner vision is crystal clear. You don't know what you don't know. Your creator, ancestors, angels, spirits, and ascended masters are whispering to you. This is divine intelligence. Pay close attention. There are things you do not, there are things you do not let yourself see. Allow yourself to be guided. Choose your own path. Spirit is saying, choose your own path. This is the Queen of Sheba. You know, this is the, she brought a gift to King Solomon. So she's saying, or encouraging us to know that we are connected to the divine. Everything is, is in the open. It is safe for you to see the truth. So based on what you've been you know, learning or coming to know for those of you who also have, you know, have come into your awakening. Spirit is saying the scales are off your eyes now. Your inner vision is crystal clear. Your third eye is clear. You know, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Everyone your ancestors, your angels, your spirit guides, your ascended masters, they are whispering to you. And spirit is saying this is divine intelligence. And they want you to pay close attention. Pay close attention. At the back of the deck is the wounded healer. Sekhmet. Again, some of us, you know, and even though... You know, you have many people, whether they're preachers, teachers, leaders, motivators, who have gone through things in their life, including myself. It doesn't mean that we are 100% there because there is always something that we, we are working at, are working on. So sometimes while we are helping you, encouraging you, this is also helping us to heal. But Spirit is also saying with this wounded healer is that we need to take care of ourselves as well. You know, we need to take time to heal ourselves because whether you're male or female, some of you sacrificed, you gave a lot to other people and other people abuse your kindness. They took your kindness for weakness. So heartache heartbreaks, betrayals, whatever it is in life. Spirit is saying, heal yourself. 
Everyone gets your best except you. You are a healer among your tribe. Stop putting your needs last. When did you decide to become a martyr? Take a breath. Wounded healers hold sadness, rage, and fears of brokenness. Being a warrior is, wasn't a choice for our beloved foremothers. They did the best they could. But being a goddess warrior for us is knowing that we have the choice not to fight all the time. So Spirit is saying, you know, we should look in ourselves. It is safe to put ourselves first. Because, you know, for a lot of us, you know, you'd go through life, or a lot of you, your family, your children, your job, and we never stop to do anything for ourselves. And Spirit is saying, now that your, your eyes are open to the truth, you can only do so much for people, even if it's your own family, your own children. And sometimes people will not be there for you. So the secret is revealed. There is no secret anymore. The art of man is desperately wicked. So spirit is saying, stop, stop and take care of yourself. Stop. We need to stop. Everyone gets our best except for us. And that is so true. That is so true. Wow. Spread, what's the card for Scorpio? The mask. The mask. Again, remove the mask. Secrets are revealed. Spirit is saying, stop fooling ourselves. Everything is in the open. And if, if anything, most Scorpios, we don't like fakeness. We like genuine, authentic people who bring clarity. But see, sometimes we end up even, you know, we end up wearing masks. We are not true to ourselves. We are not true to our own calling. And Spirit is saying, remove the mask. Where is the lie? Get quiet to get clear. Put your hand on your heart. Now, are you confused or are you afraid? Your outer world is a reflection of your inner world. Show your true face. Wearing a mask blocks your vulnerability and blessings. If you are wearing a mask, dare to reveal yourself. You are lying to others and to yourself. Wearing a mask is, is exhausting. Be you. If, if someone else is wearing a mask with you, you deserve clarity. Your relationship and connection is built on lies. Their mask is a projection of your own. Spirit is saying, we should be willing to remove the mask. Where is it in our life that we're lying to ourselves? Because clearly, when we're wearing this, this mask, you know, we may be able to fool others, but really we can't fool ourselves and we can't fool the divine either. But it's very, it's hard work. It is suffocating. So Spirit is saying everything should be in the open. Secrets are revealed. No more lies. And if you're dealing with people or you're in a relationship where people are lying to you, that's not good. You know, I always hear growing up, you know, the, my, my grandmother, there would, you know, she would say a liar and a thief, they go together. So if people are willing to lie, then they will steal as well. You know, so spirit wants us to be clear. Intuition. Follow your intuition. You know, this is your sixth sense. This is like your gut feeling. 
Spirit wants you to listen to your intuition. Secrets are revealed. So again, when you see people for who they are, you know, whatever your intuition is telling you, it's like Spirit is saying it is the truth. Spirit is saying you already know. Take a deep breath and surrender to what you know to be the truth. Trust your inner wisdom and guidance. What is your guidance telling you? Again, put your hands over your third eye, which is the center of your forehead, and ask, if I knew what the answer is, that it would be, then follow your instinct. So the creator and your ancestors connect with you through this intuition. This is your internal GPS. The nudges, the signs, and the coincidences, they are divine guidance. Spirit is saying, slow down. Go for a walking meditation. Be present with nature and pay attention. Being present allows you to feel, hear, sense, and see your guidance. So Spirit is saying, you already know. So what is it that you have been praying about? What is it that is keeping you up at night? That Spirit is saying, you already know the answer, but you're just fooling yourself. At the back of the deck is a liberation. So you are free. Spirit is saying you are free. I started out, you know, whom the sun said, no, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. So you are free. So it's really you, you whatever your situation is, you know, some of you, you're in a relationship and I am in no way at all encouraging anybody to leave or divorce their relationships that they're in. But, you know, if it is counseling that you guys need, you need somebody, a third party to, you know, give some advice, suggestions as to how you can work on your partnership, your relationship, you know, then go for it. But then for, for those of you who are in, you know, maybe some third party situation, you know, some of us, we need to, you know, wake up. Because Spirit is saying, some of you, you're finding things. A lot of things are coming out in the open this year. A lot of people, you know, are, are stepping outside of connections where they're not fulfilled. They're realizing these people, they are not my soulmate. They are not suitable for my purpose. Even in, in, in platonic relationships, you're realizing the people that you're hanging with. You know, they are hanging you. They are not, they are, they are no good for you. Because if you are, if you have friends and you cannot share your successes, your blessings, your happy moments with them, those are not genuine people. And Spirit is saying, take the mask off. Stop fooling yourself. Trust your intuition, your internal GPS. Wow. At the back of the deck, naked. Naked. I mean, it's just a lot of peeling off in these decks. A lot of revelation. Things are in the open. Just a lot of bear your soul. Spirit is saying, you don't need to fake who you are. I know who you are. You can be yourself around me in my presence. Tell me, what is it that your heart desires? What is it that makes you stay up at night? What is it that breaks your heart? What is it that you're so disappointed about? What is it that you cry about that nobody knows? Spirit is saying, bear your soul to me. Stop, stop stuffing yourself down. You're not stuffing your emotions on the inside. When we have already given, given you the answer, you just need to follow your intuition because you already know. You already know what the answer is. You got the nudges. You got the urges. And if you are not getting them, then Spirit is saying, take time out. 
Get in a quiet place where you not only talk, but you're going to listen to spirit. And sometimes I read the comments and, you know, every now and again, somebody will say, yes, I know, but help me, tell me what to do. But this is a personal journey for all of us. You know, I, this is a personal relationship with you and the divine. And this is why it's not about religion. It's about a relationship. So you have to do the work. It's like now that you hear the word, you have to now go and do your soul searching. And find out what is it, what I need to do. What is my purpose here? You know, reveal to me the people, the places, the things that I need to release from my life. Secrets are revealed and to clarify giving and receiving. So again, some of you, you may be in connections and relationships where you are the only one that is giving. Again, this go back to the other card, you know, that I, I, I read earlier. It's about when did you decide to become a martyr? Because if you're giving too much, then you are in your masculine energy. You know, if you're receiving without giving, you're being selfish. So spirit wants it to be an ebb and flow. You know, give and take. You know, when you give, you release. When you get ladies, for those of you who are in your masculine, because, you know, you have to go, go, go. You have to, make, you know, bring home the bacon, you know, everything. So you are in your masculine energy most of the time. And spirit is saying, get back into your femininity. You know, because there's a time for everything. Yes, when you're out there working and if you are if you are a manager or you're hustling, whatever on your job, then you have to step up and be firm. But don't neglect yourself. Get back into that feminine energy. Balance, balance. It's about balance here. Because see, when you're in your feminine energy, that is when your intuition kicks in. This is why they'll say, you know, as women, you just have, especially you're in a relationship, you can tell when somebody's, when your partner is not faithful because you have that sense. But, you know, if you keep going, 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 you're going to miss the signs. You're going to miss the signs. And at the back, it is live out loud. Yes, live out loud. Take your power back. Take your power back. And to clarify, mask, pleasure. Yeah, when you take your mask off, then you can be your real self. Then you can step into your authenticity, your genuine. You show the world the real you, the true you, who you are, your true beauty. Because you can see the difference here. You know, this one with all the mask is like you, you just sit down, you're closed off. Now, when you come into your true self, you know, some of you, you are living a life for other people out of fear. When in fact, you are meant to be on the world stage. In fact, you're meant to, to be on this platform. You know, when in fact, you're supposed to, you know, they are performing. Whatever it is. You're supposed to be living what, what you were brought here on this earth to do throughout this lifetime. But you're hiding your true self. Spirit is saying, no, step out of the shadows. Step out of the shadow and come into the spotlight. This is who you are. This is who you truly are. Get into your balance. Balance who you are, your masculine and your feminine energies. And guys, whether this is you or not, you know, you're, you're meant for something bigger, something greater, to be a star. And to clarify, intuition is ketesh, which is sacred lust, sacred lust. 
So again, here spirit is saying you are an erotic creature. You have a divine right to experience sensual ecstasy. It is sacred to give and receive pleasure. See, giving and receiving. You deserve to feel good. It feels good to feel good. So allow yourself to feel good. Lean into your sacred lust. Turn up your own fire and quench your thirst. Dance with pleasure. You daring to embrace your sensuality will set the world on fire. It feels good to feel good, Spirit is saying. Step into your authentic self. I hope YouTube don't flag me for, for this. But again, you know, get into your, your sensual side, your feminine side. Guys, turn on your charms. You know, take back pride into, you know, yourself, the way you put yourself even accepting our own bodies because here uh, she's naked and she's not afraid. Again, it's just a lot of be your true self that I'm seeing in, in, in all of these cards here. You know, some of you, Spirit is saying to dance. Some of you probably used to have, you know, dance lessons or whatever, whatever because when you do that, it, it, you get back into that sensual, that softer feminine side as well. I don't want to keep this card turn over because I don't want YouTube to think it's 18 and over. But I mean, she's naked. And the card at the back of the deck is self-sabotage. Wow. Self-sabotage. So a lot of you, a lot of us, Spirit is saying... We are sabotaging ourselves. We're blocking. I mean, remember, you know, whether you have how many lifetimes or whatever, but for right now, we are here in this moment and this time. People will say, you're low. You only live once. But every day while you're alive, you're living. So don't prepare for death when you're alive right now. So Spirit is saying, because you're afraid to step into your shadow side, you know, embrace yourself. Some of us, we, we, not, we don't even know how to take a compliment. Spirit is saying, you're holding yourself apart from your blessings. What ancient pain are you trying to stuff down, numb, ignore, or avoid? What does your self-sabotage help you to avoid? Because when we, when we are not our true self, you know, we are sabotaging who we truly are, the potential for who we can become. We're blocking our own blessing. It's like we're tripping over our own feet. Your inner saboteur is clever. Seductive patterns of behavior block your path and your power distractions addictions cravings and unhealthy habits will not bring you your best your inner bully is the voice telling you you messed up the part of you that is jealous the anger you don't know what to do with your stuck inner procrastinator and your toxic relationship choices Stop terrorizing yourself with broken promises of discipline. Instead, choose devotion to your chosen pathways. What inspired action can you take today? Spirit is saying you need to have compassion for yourself. Release yourself from whatever fear, whatever negative thing in the past and so some of you you're probably gonna click off maybe you don't even make it this far in the video because this is actually a trigger for a lot of you and triggers are not bad triggers tell us that we need to work on this area and see once you work on that area then 
you it doesn't bother you anymore it's like i can tell even by going through on youtube and i will see certain channels you know where the the readers they may pose beautiful pictures of themselves or even other people who are going through weight loss journeys and you know just them taking back or feeling that confidence and when i look at how many people who would normally like those posts for those readers when they put something up otherwise but whenever it is something positive to celebrate somebody else people tend to avoid they don't click on the likes because it's almost as if if i am not losing weight then i feel guilty or i'm not going to support somebody else who is on their weight loss journey and that is not how it should be we should be happy for other people because at the same time if that's our goal you know when it's our time then you want people to applaud and to celebrate you as well so this is the shadow side this is the dark side some people they don't like to hear about other people's progress or their blessings and spirit is saying stop that this is the shadow guidance you're holding yourself apart from your blessing ancient pain what ancient pain are you trying to stuff down to numb to ignore or avoid spirit is saying spirit says your eyes are open everything is now brought to the surface because when the queen of sheba went to solomon she had a lot of questions for him and he was because he was wise you know he was able to answer them so all the secrets everything was in the open and so you need to talk to the divine about or some of you you already did some of you already know the areas that you need to remove the mask on stop ignoring your intuition spirit wants you to bring balance to your life so that you can take back your pleasure walk into your true purpose what is it that you love to do you enjoy to do the most when you are a child what is it that you always wanted to do you enjoy again whether you're a male or female and spirit wants you to take your power back spirit wants you to heal and embrace yourself embrace your sexuality embrace your you know maybe this is you know people struggling with sexual identity as well and again sometimes you know th this is just men women who keep going 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 we don't have time to stop to look at ourselves to appreciate our bodies and uh, you know we don't think we are beautiful and so when someone comes into our life and say you're beautiful you deserve love you deserve kindness because you are love then we end up self sabotaging because we don't even know who we really are we don't know because we're not stopping to ask the divine the divine knows who you are and this is why we use positive self talk self affirmations i am beautiful i am handsome you know so you, we have to stop to 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 celebrate ourselves sometimes it's not been a narcissist i think it's just the way that we were raised where people make you feel bad you know we feel guilty because if we say we love ourselves you're too much into yourself when in fact that it is healthy you know to a certain extent so this this is this is beautiful remove the mask be your true self you live while you're here every day gratitude i am thankful for this life you know i was i was going to repeat you know while we're here every day again we can't be saying yolo 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 you know yes we only live once or some people think that you know that's what it is 
But are you only living to, to die, show up to pay bills, not to enjoy creation? I mean, this is made by the divine. Yes, we are in the world. We are not of the world. But at the same time, you know, we're, we're not supposed to just live, work, pay bills and, and die. We're supposed to enjoy life. So whether you believe in YOLO or not, at the same time, if you are alive right now, that means you have an opportunity to create the life that you so deserve. You deserve better. And you know you deserve better. So Spirit is saying, stop fooling yourself. Gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Okay, so YOLO or no YOLO. This should be this should be what we are saying every day. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents and stop sabotaging ourselves. Oh well, blah blah blah. Stop fooling yourself. Fear. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So again, fear fear or love. Which one are you operating out of? So there is nothing to fear, like the quote says, but fear itself. Fear is false evidence appearing as real. It's not real. 